Morning everyone, today we're going to be capturing all the brilliant autumn colours with some woodland photography. So today I'm heading out back to Padley Gorge, I was there not too long ago, I'll link up top to that video if you haven't seen it, but I just had to get back there because all the colours are really turning now with autumn, we're going to get all the brilliant oranges, yellows, golden colours of autumn. and. I'm going to be meeting up with a fellow YouTuber, Kieran Sudderby. He's got a fantastic channel. I'll put a link down below to that, so check him out and subscribe. And yeah, hopefully we're just going to have a great time and get some great shots, so I'll see you when we get there. So we're here at Padley Gorge, we found Kieran. Like I said, he's a great YouTuber, go check his channel out. He's got, I would, it's fair to say we've got a similar kind of channel. Yeah. Cover similar stuff. So landscape, he did a bit of street recently. Um, so yeah, pretty similar, just bigger beards, better photos mainly. <laughs> and... <laughs> so we're here, we're down at the river now at Padley Gorge. Kieran's going this way to start with, I'm looking down the gorge, we've got some really nice colours down here. And uh, yeah, just going to try and get some slow shutter speeds, blur out the water a little bit. Try and get some compositions with lots of colour in. And that's the plan for now and then we're going to head a bit further down the gorge. So gear-wise, I brought with me the Z7 today. I've got the 24-70mm to f4 lens on there. In my bag I've also got my 14-30mm to f4 and the 24-200mm, to I forgot the aperture, it's something like f5 to 5.6 or 6.3, something like that. But that gives me a lot of focal range covered. And at the moment I'm using the 24-70mm. I've got a polarising filter on there and I'm using a shutter speed of around about 80 to 125. I'm not going to base at ISO of 64 just because there's a little bit of wind and I don't want the leaves of the trees to get blurred. So that's why I'm using around about 80 to 125. I've got F9 at the moment and in aperture priority mode that's giving me a shutter speed of around about 4 seconds. So there's no ND filter, just naturally with the light and the polarizer that's giving me a slow enough shutter speed to blur out the water. So we didn't get any fog today unfortunately and that does make woodland quite difficult because with the fog you get separation, it helps with the chaos of the forest and the woodland area, you don't get all those branches and trees intermingled because the fog will cut that out and help you focus on a subject. So instead what I'm trying to do is just find little areas in the woods to focus on as my subject. At the moment I'm focusing on these mushrooms here, I'm using my 24-70mm at the 70mm end and I've got my widest aperture of f4 so with that I'm hoping to blur out the background it'll really isolate the mushrooms and that'll be my subject they're quite nice, quite autumn -y. they've got that really nice orangey yellow colour it works really well against the green of the tree there 
So we'll see how that comes out. All right, we'll find out what Kieran's getting up to. How's it going? Struggling a little bit with the lack of fog. I think you've made the right choice going small, but I just want to try one wide shot at least. Um, so I'm just looking up this pathway, this lovely pathway, surrounded by lovely orange and brown leaves, which I'll be sure to over edit lately. I'm, I'm a sucker for over editing shots. Uh, and just got some of them nice gnarly branches either side. Um, it might look all right, not the best shot of the day, but a wide one at least. So what kind of focal length are you at the moment? I'm at 70, I've got a 28 to 70 on, at 70 mil and just a polarizer on. Cool. Make a bit more saturation. Is yours a, is it a crop sensor that camera? Yeah, crop sensor, so what will that be? Are you good at maths? No. <laughs> <laughs> About 100, so you're at 70 now, are you? 70, so equivalent, what, 110? Yeah, something like that. Not good at maths. No, me either. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely for the blooper reel, isn't it? <laughs> cool, yeah, so it's looking good. Not the best, but it's a shot. Nice little composition here. I'm hoping this will work because we've got the path that goes right up through the middle, which is a leading line and really brings you into the picture. And then we've got the trees either side forming a natural frame. There's not loads of colour in this one. It's quite green still, but there is a little bit of orange up there in the background. But I can also tweak that in Lightroom later as well to make it look more autumnal. So Kieran's getting some shots of the waterfall over there. I think it looks like a pretty good composition. While he's doing that, I'm having a look around this area for some really nice autumn colors. Found this tree here. It's quite nice against the green mossy rocks in the background because the oranges and the yellows really stand out against the greens. So I'm taking a shot from round about where you are viewing from right now with the 24 to 70 millimeter. I'm mainly just using the 24 to 70 today. I've not even changed my lens yet, really enjoying using that lens. And yeah, I'm taking the shot from round about where you are, looking up with the green rocks in the background and this really nice yellow-orange tree in the foreground. So Kieran's found a really good shot here. It's got the waterfall in the foreground. In the background there, you've got some really nice orange and yellow autumn colors. So when he's finished taking his shot, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna steal that composition. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it'd be good to see what Kieran's shot's like and see what his take is and how mine might differ slightly. Okay, I've put the 14 to 30 millimeter wide angle on now. That's just allowing me to get more of the waterfall and the nice orangey yellow background at the same time. It's still a little bit green down in the bottom half though, so I'm probably gonna change some of the colors on Lightroom a bit to make them look more orange yellow. Let's go have a look what Kieran's doing. So Kieran's concentrating on a little tight shot just down here at the moment. 
We've got a rock with some nice orange leaves on there and he's focused in on that. And he's using a slightly faster shutter speed than before because when he's using the longer shutter speed, he was just explaining to me that the, uh, the blurred out water was covering up a little bit of the scene that he wanted to capture. So by using the slightly faster shutter speed, the water wasn't as blurred out, wasn't covering that up. Looks like a nice little shot from the back of the camera here. So uh, yeah, tune into his video when it comes out to see how that comes out. All right, so the light's coming out now. It's getting a bit harsh and we're going to wrap up. But I think we've got some good shots today. Did you get some good shots, Kieran? I think I got one or two. One or two, yeah. I think probably the composition that I stole off, yeah. It's probably shot <laughs> well, I stole one off you. I think that was one of my best ones yeah. anyway, so. Good little trade-off. <laughs> yeah, so looking forward to getting back now, get the shots on the computer and uh, seeing what they look like. And also, when Kieran's video comes out, seeing what his shots are like and what his take on the whole thing is. Yeah, I think that's been an interesting thing. When, once I see your video, I compare it to mine and see what images we've both got. It's interesting to see how we both... You know, yeah, and you've got like a, a really different editing style, I think, as well. You're quite moody and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and looks really good. So, uh, yeah, it'll be good to see the comparison of those. Autumn's such a fantastic time to get woodland photography, and particularly so at Paddley Gorge. It's such a photogenic place. Doesn't matter where you point your camera, you can always get a good shot. Massive thanks to Kieran. He had to come a long way to get to Padley Gorge and it was great to meet him. We had a really fun morning, got some great shots. And I can't wait to see his video and see what he came up with. So I've just got a few more shots to show you and I'll put those up on screen now. If you've never been to Padley Gorge and you're thinking about exploring the area for yourself, I've put a little guide on my website. It'll just tell you how to get there, what to photograph, where to park, where you can find food and facilities, that kind of thing. And you can find that on my blog at my website, robertbishop.uk. So that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot to the regulars for watching as always, really appreciate it. And if you are new and you'd like to subscribe, you can click down here on the big red button or over here on my face, and that way you'll keep up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. UK time. So I hope you'll catch me for next week's video, but until then, thanks a lot, and bye for now.